Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Blackjack in Europa Universalis 4. We've just finished the Reconquista. Convert Gibraltar to Catholic. Uh, we're not going to do that because I believe there is a... Um, okay, select this. So if we... Mission succeeds when the following criteria are met. If they're not in the Christian religious group. We get tolerance of the true faith for a while. And Granada loses their core, so they're just dead. Convert Gibraltar gives us more missionary strength. Gibraltar has only six development. We can convert it at uh, no speed at all. We could hire an Inquisitor, uh, which is pretty much guaranteed with estates these days. I think we court first. I think we're not, not really worried too much about these. Uh, there's a there's an event that, you, that can happen that forces them to convert for, um, for autonomy, I believe. All right, the clergy is now demanding territory. They want how much land? They control 13.7% and they want 15%. Well, I'll tell you what, you can have... Uh, suppose you can have Almeria. Should appease them. 15.9 is good. Still haven't demanded di diplomatic support. I don't like not demanding all three at the same time. So is there anything we can do here to get a little bit more out of this? Just feels like this is really quite weak. I suppose we'll just we'll just take the points. I'd love to be able to get a hundred, but fifty is acceptable. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I did my math wrong, apparently. I thought that we would still be... Oh, that's right, it's it's, it's uh, 40, it's not 30. I thought the threshold was 40. Sorry, 30. That's unfortunate. I suppose we could give them a province. This will increase their influence to 48%, and increase their loyalty by... Yeah, we'll just give this to them. We'll piece them that way. We can't afford a 20% trade efficiency swing. Also, um, there we go. I think this might be the event. After having expelled the Jews on the 3rd August 1492, we're a little bit ahead of time here, the Catholic sovereigns of Spain considered it was time to look after the Moorish population of Al-Andalus, the southern part of the peninsula from the old Muslims' kingdoms of Valencia and, above all, Granada. With the renewal of the Inquisition led by Tomas, uh, Spain became a country of religious fanatics, with agricultural work and crafts where agricultural works and crafts are considered labors unworthy of Christians. Forced conversions followed as well as enslavement, torture, and executions where many were burned at the stake. In the wake of these persecutions, many thousands left Spain. So, um, toleration is a key to the nation's prosperity. Gain more stability. We could hold off the Reformation a little bit longer. We were already at 7% Reformation desire, so taking this would help offset it. And until the death of our current ruler, we would get stability costs coming down, our tolerance goes down, which is not a big deal at all. So it's basically just free stability. Or, we can force convert everything, and we gain an Inquisitor who is cheap. And he's, uh, gain the skill, gain the skill one Inquisitor, Tomas, and he's 50% off. So we could just save a lot of money on a level one advisor. And force change it all right away. Catholicism gains reform desire. I think we compare these missions, we do these missions together. We get tolerance of the true faith for 10 years automatically, basically just by doing this. Or we could get free missionary strength. I don't think we're going to have any issue converting Tangier. Tangier is low development, as is, well, Tlemcen's pretty high. Yeah, I think we, uh, I think we take the mission. Spain must be Christian. In hindsight, tolerance of the true faith for 10 years is kind of meh. But yeah. Which immediately satisfies the mission, and now we have no available missions. Yay. Okay, uh, we're at peace. We were gonna go to war. We should go to war. There's no reason not to go to war. We'll pick up a little bit of aggressive expansion if we don't co-belligerent, but there's no reason to not co-belligerent. Let's get our maintenance back up to full, prepare to get down there. Hey, Portugal, how do you feel about giving me some military access? That's wonderful, thank you. Let's also offer military access to our allies. If they're interested in it.
How did our force summit get affected? We've gained some. Uh, there's some nasty, nasty uh, things going on, I think, with force limit calculation right now. So, like, if we look at it, I'm just curious to see if it is still messed up. Uh, so this is owned by the Burgers. It has 15 development, so it should provide 1.5 land force limit. It has 39%, 39.7% autonomy. So it should be, it says right there, reduced by roughly 40%. So 1.5 times 0.6 should be 0.9 force limit. Instead, we're getting 1.1. Don't ask me why. It's just wrong. It's just not right. We're getting way more than we're supposed to. Um, any any province that has strange autonomy, um, even these like that are not owned by the nobility. Let's see if we can find one. The clergy, 0.65 on 0.9. I'm pretty sure if you take 0.9 times 0.75, you should have. See that one's actually that one's actually fine. But I don't know. There's something squirrely going on with it. But it'll I'm sure it'll get fixed at some point. We don't even really need to worry, I think, too much about Revolt Risk here. I don't think I've actually started the cores, because I'm waiting four months for the War Exhaustion to come all the way down. Actually, let's just see what the actual cost would normally be. Should be 54, yeah. 60 times 0.9 would be uh, 54. And you should be uh, 15 times 10 is 150. You can come down by one more point. So we'll wait just until this one comes down to 135. Just need a little bit more rounding. Looks like one more month. Portugal, would you like military access? Still have a, an extra relationship slot open. This will probably, probably do it. Byzantium has changed to feudal monarchy. They got forced by the, those pretenders. change their, their capital. But I'm a math wrong. I don't think I have. We keep our relations high with the Pope. Because we are good Catholics. And at some point in the near future we're going to want to have the uh, what's it called? I forget now. Basically like the, the papal, papal sanctioned colonization. The Treaty of, Torte of Tordesias. Shen always called it the Treaty of Tortillas which confused me. Now I sometimes forget what it was called. There we go. There's the full rounded down price. Okay, um, not really too concerned about this. We'll declare them war now, I think. Um, we have military access through Portugal. They are our ally. We're going to call them into the war, so we'll have military access that way. Let's get the whole army ferried over there now. Let's do it manually. we will just be faster that way. We don't have access to their ports. Albania is dead. Ottomans have entered into an alliance with Tunis. Well, that's fine. Ottomans haven't robbed us, have they? No. France has entered into a military alliance with the Ottomans. That's horrendous! Who, why, why would you do this? Why would you do such a thing? It's January, so we gotta check this. Hungary has no heir. Milan, 57 years old. Milan's actually pretty good as far as development goes. Maybe we could do something over here. We'd have to get them to be not neutral. They have no other royal marriages, which means that uh, on, right now, on just a random noble would succeed the throne. This is a potential way that we could do it. We could, put, we could totally get a union over Milan if we get a royal marriage secured. Easiest way to do that would be to get a, a, a quick alliance, but... We have the relationship slot. If I had to break the alliance, I wouldn't be too upset. Supply is only 20. I don't think we want to do that just yet. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's secure the alliance. I'd love to get a free union over Milan. They will offer royal marriage, which is perfectly fine, because he's 57. We'll take it. And now, we should see, hopefully, a different result. A noble from our house will succeed to the throne. Good deal. Okay, um, I feel pretty confident about our war here. I mean, we're a tech level ahead, and it's, you know, it's the Muslims, so... 
Pomerania has accepted peace. Full annexation. The Teutons are now dead. Wait, the other way around. The Teutons just ate all of Pomerania. My mistake. I thought the Teutons were the ones eating the bucket. Biting, biting the bullet, eating, you know, kicking the bucket. Mixing, mixing my things here. Uh, we'll call you in with a promise of territory and then just not give you any territory. Or we'll give you, like, crap land, like, you know, that you don't really want. We'll co-belligerent Tlemcen unless he has any other allies. He does not. I forget uh, this whole colonial war button. What does that one do? Okay, and we'll focus on sieging down the Wargle right away. We'll wait for Portugal to get down here. Fortunately, we're starting the siege of the province that they want, so that's going to be good. We should probably take care of these navies. It'll be a naval battle here. I will get a crossing penalty. Fantastic work, Paradox. I'm going to get a crossing penalty in the ocean. <laughs> There's a river! <laughs> Watch out for the river! <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. Alright, so we're looking good on Milan. We're doing okay on Prestige. Uh, anybody else that maybe we want to consider? Hungary not having anything as well. They're back down to Interregnum. Interregnum. Let me improve with them. Byzantium. They do have cores and a lot of land. And he is 20. We'll improve. I highly doubt we're going to see the Moroccans engage anything. We'll let the Portuguese do most of the actual fighting, because um, why would we waste military power if we don't have to? Also, why are we sieging with Cav? Granted, a fight in the mountains against them would be pretty bad, but... I'm also going to want to go siege down Tlemcen. Um, how about we do this? We will do a quick little split shuffle. So we have two equally sized armies that neither neither country will want to engage. 14 and 14 with a superior tech, he shouldn't do it. Unfortunately, we are locked into this. Okay, so I can't actually get here just yet. We could use our boats to do it. Yeah, I think I'd like to just get started on sieging down to Lemson as well. Losing prestige is really bad for the Game of Thrones. Well, the only person we're trying to get control over was... Milan. And I swear I did not see a pop-up about them getting an air. Okay, so there's still one more pop-up. I got a, I turned on the pop-up for getting a new ruler. I need... When a nation gets a new heir. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe there isn't a pop up available for that. There should be, right? Okay. Alright. Well, in that case, we can afford the prestige yet, since Milan did secure an heir. Visconti, the zero year old. It's rather unfortunate. It's hoping we get lucky already. Portugal's just jumping right in. Three heavies to our three heavies. I don't think he's going to come out. Just to be safe, might not be a bad idea to put all of our navy doing the blockade for now. Or at least within two, within one sea tile. In Portugal, that's not how you're supposed to do it, but hey, good try. He'll recover. Portugal has allied Provence.
All right. I think we do just land directly on Tlemcen again. We'll suffer a little bit of extra attrition, but it'll be all right. We're about to take Tangier. The Drylands would be a good spot to engage the uh, the Moor. Georgia will cede a lot of land to Kara. Georgia, nearly dead. Good for them. We have a fair bit of money, which is nice. We're gonna hold on to it so that we can build a whole bunch of buildings when we start to unlock them. All right, glad that's done. A 1-2 leader versus our 3 shock guy. It's a bad, bad deal. And really we want to swap these leaders now so that we have Enrique working on the siege of that Clemson province. So to take the two provinces that I want, I'm going to need... Uh, 13. And he actually is looking to engage me. Portugal, you're supposed to help. Over here. Portugal, what are you doing, man? Enrique is rolling an 8. Nice. And another 8. Damn. Damn, Enrique. You scary. Let's shift consolidate. Uh, actually, we could have... Nope, never mind. They'll be here on the 31st. Enrique is uh, doing all right. Another 8. Enrique, the 8 roller. He rolled a 0, but it's the fire phase. Not as bad as it could be. Roll to five, and yeah, we've we've successfully won against two equal sized stacks with a like an eight stack. That's pretty crazy. Good job, Enrique. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna move up into the mountain. Ah, uh, shoot, Portugal's already there. Well, we don't really want to be involved in that siege as well. Relative uh, participation is 80%, so they're not going to really expect much. Tanger Tlemcen, again, it was how much again? 13 and 23, so 36% war score. We can easily get that once we get them down to low enthusiasm. And since they're co-belligerent, it should be very easy to, to take. I just have to finish this siege so that we can actually demand it. Trade protection against Genoa. They are a member of the Empire, so we can't really do anything about that. It'll be fine. Since we're trying to recover, um, I'd really like to be in the mountains, but I can't get there. So we'll just go to the hills here. The Teutonic Order have dishonored their military lines with the Livonians. Who are the Livonians fighting? Defending against Brandenburg and the Brandenburgian reconquest of Newmark, and they're fighting against Novrod. So Novrod's trying to kill them from the north. Meanwhile, they're trying to help out the Teutons against Brandenburg. Teutons betrayed them. <laughs> Backstabbing bastards. Alright, can we get Enrique in charge of that army? I wonder. It'll significantly speed up the siege. Why don't we just grab a transport and go pick him up. You'd be surprised at uh, how much one siege pip makes a difference. I think it saves, like, I don't remember. It's some significant number of days. It's not insignificant. Months, even, maybe. At least one month, I think. Okay, for now, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.